What's up, y'all? I'm Lam, and this is Black Hollywood Report. And this Jonathan Major situation keeps getting crazier. We saw the chase. This time we have audio of the interaction between Jonathan and his ex. Hey, guys, hey, Yeah. Do you really know this? Do you really? Yes. Then how dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house when we have a plan? I'm I, so would like sorry. To get to, I would like to get to the point where your friends know what job I'm on and go, I think Grace is going to be out of commission. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I won't. I, like, I'm, I, no, no. Do you understand that? Because cause that team, that unit, right? Grace has to be in a certain mindset to support Coretta Scott King. You know who that is? That's Martin Luther King's wife. Michelle Obama. Barack Obama's wife. I know, I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't have gone out. I'm no, no, sorry. Let me, just, let me just lay it out for you, right? If I am, I'm just going to say this. My temper, my shit, my trauma, blah, blah, all that, all that said, right? And I'm going to say, I'm a great man. A great man. I am doing great things, not just for me, but for my for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. That's real. I'm not being a dick about it. I didn't ask for it. I've worked and that's the situation. The woman that supports me, that I support, that work that needs to be a great woman and make sacrifices the way that man is making for her and for them, ultimately. Last night, two nights ago, you did not do that. I'm you sorry. did not do that. I'm sorry. Which, which took away from the plan. And the plan is everything. <clears throat> if it was just you in the house drunk, maybe I could have swallowed it. Or, or, or I would have felt bold like, oh, babe, let's just go to bed. Which I said to her, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm not, I'm not hungry, blah, 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 blah. Because Grace isn't here. Why? She was drunk. Why else? She was clogged by whatever was going on. You know what I mean? Fine. I can take that. I, I, fine. What are we doing right now? Period. This is actually, period. Do you understand that? Okay, so listening to that, it seems as though she was trying to make it as though this was a negative. Because she, I believe she recorded this. I did, it, to me, it didn't come off as a negative for him. To me, this makes him look better. It looks like he's trying to preserve a legacy or build a legacy and trying to be be an example. And he didn't like for her coming in white girl and wasted. He didn't he didn't like that. He wanted her. He wants her to represent now. Whole, the whole thing of being uh, like Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama. I think he is a little weird when it comes to that. You should have got you a black woman if that's the case. How are you gonna get your white woman and want her to epitomize Michelle Obama and Coretta Scott King and be the, be what they are for Barack and Dr. King? You want her to be that for you. And she doesn't understand your struggle, doesn't understand blackness. She doesn't understand any of that. So I think you're asking a bit too much in that regard. My mic. But to ask for her to not to be sloppy drunk, her and her friends, and to respect that you got some shit going on, to respect that you are, are, are building a legacy and you're working on a movie, you're working on a set, set, I get that. Peace. No drama. No craziness. So I had no problem with what he said. Now, does he possibly have a little bit of controlling there? Maybe. maybe. Some would say yes. But I, I didn't see a whole lot wrong with what he had to say. And then if we look back at the chase, which I'll let's look at it here. This makes her look horrible. And I'm not taking up for, listen, if he is guilty of whooping this woman's ass, whooping up on her, he should be he should be penalized for it. I don't believe in that. I'll never accept it, never uh, be on the side of someone uh, uh, of domestic abuse either way. If she did it, she needs to be held liable. But from what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing, if I were the judge and jury, I'm not seeing the evidence other than, of course, she got some scratches and such, but we don't see that he did it. I mean, 
Let me rephrase this. The way she was fighting on him to keep him from getting away, he could have very well came with him fighting him off her off of him. That could be argued. But if it ain't, and if he did in fact choke her or or and do whatever to make her fingers swollen, her have a thing on behind her ear, then he should be penalized for it. Those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Make sure you put something in the comment below. I'm Lamb, and this is the Black Hollywood Report. <laughs>